Uh, our next poet, uh, we've heard uh, Alan Wolfson introducing us to the slam style. Um, our next poet is also no stranger to the world of slams. Uh, she's from uh, the, the great state of Kuwait. She wasn't late, she got here on time. Um, she's been shortlisted for the Torbay Poetry Award. She has uh, written her poems down kindly for us in a nice book called The Heart and the Subsidiary. And amongst her poetry slam victories have been one which was excitingly called Poetry Kapow 9, The Slam of Sins. Um, and another one, which even more excitingly, was in Wigan. They have poetry in Wigan. Amazing. Fatima Almata. Yay! Origami. In her attempt to master the art of origami, she has taken this thin, brittle love and folded it into an eagle. She dreamt it would one day soar. But after so many years of being pressed under his inflated ego, his vulgar need for dominance, his deluding skills reducing her to more insecurity, to more doubt. His intimidating, coercive threats feeding on her vulnerability, sucking on her fragility. She doesn't cry. Some cruelties are beyond tears. Some unhappiness beyond threshold. She has come to understand now that a paper bird can never fly, and that the dead skin that forms under a neglected foot in ill shades of yellow, even when desperately hanging to the living, can never truly be alive. And she will not let him empty his dark, barbaric desires inside her anymore. She will not shrivel and wither to fatten his sick need for self-worth. And she will not continue to be misled by his wicked virtual denial. And this heart, this long, deprived, smothered heart, will rise. Yeah. one for my aunt who unfortunately passed of cancer in 2004. When the cancer took, you gracefully unknotted the tangled emotions. You slowly and gently unwrapped love. You untied its tether, as if you have saved some spring for the long indefinite winters. You gazed at your daughter's condoling faces, recorded every expression while the sick, swamp, green cells multiplied. You wondered in silence, how can death breed in such frightening speed? And you were astounded at how lack of time suddenly breathed enchantment into everything you took for granted, at how only lack of time can make a moment last. And you promised your youngest you'd meet again in the heaven where only the B9 multiply. Funny this life. Funny this life. Only when we are asked to hand back the key do we realize that we never took the time to unlock the door. Until you have a child, you see the healthier, cleaner, purer part of your soul in higher definition, gleaming in the shape of a smaller human, dancing in a pink ballet tutu, and all you want is to reserve it, maintain it, watch and wonder how there's a better version of yourself, the different sides of love constantly revolving. You are amazed at love's endless hues and the constant eternal state of worry it brings. 
when they are ill with the cruelest or the slightest of illnesses, you are there to be the comfier bed, stroking your cool hand against their warm forehead. Spare her echoes through the sleepless nights until you have reached the very basement of your aching heart. You are between the inner walls of love, where you are to a delicate, slippery, and lonely. Don't see